Hello and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS Tech Tip from Hawkrid Systems. In today's video, we're covering the basics of the Surface Flatten command, which can take any surface body or a face from a solid body and create a flat pattern from it. This can be an exceptionally useful tool for users in textile industries or decal development, as Surface Flatten can be applied to non-analytic organic geometry and can also produce a deformation plot to investigate the stretch or compression resulting from flattening. In this example, I've modeled up a bell on which I intend to place a decal. I've used a wrap feature to split out the decal face, and now I'd like to flatten it out to get the footprint for cutting. Surface Flatten is the tool for the job, but be aware that it's only available in SOLIDWORKS Premium, so if you have SOLIDWORKS Standard or Professional, this command may not be available to you. And by the way, if you've never used the wrap command for splitting faces like this, it's pretty great. Make sure to click the link in the description below for a quick tutorial. You'll find Surface Flatten on the Surfaces tab, and the Property Manager is pretty straightforward. First, select a face or surface body that you'd like to flatten. If necessary, multiple faces can be selected. Then, in the second box, choose a vertex or a point along the edge of the face or surface from which you intend to calculate the flat pattern. This will ultimately control the orientation of the flattened surface, so you may consider trying out some different selections here. At this point, you can simply confirm the command and the flat pattern will be produced, but what about these other boxes? If your face or surface body has curves or sketch entities on it, like a 3D spline for example, you can flatten those too. Simply add them to the additional entities selection box here in green, and they'll be flattened along with the surface. Relief cuts are very helpful too, especially if you're concerned about stretch or compression when deforming the flat pattern onto the 3D geometry. Any curve or sketch that intersects or lies on the surface can be used, so long as they contact an edge of the surface. Be aware though, while they help provide a better fit, relief cuts will also create notches in the flat pattern. Finally, the accuracy slider can be adjusted to reduce the size of the triangular elements that approximate the flat pattern. If your original surface is particularly complex, you may consider turning up the accuracy for a better fit, but be warned that this may increase solve time significantly, especially at the highest setting. That's all there is to it. Now you can produce flat patterns for organic geometry, and the result is a working planar surface that can be modified however you see fit. Additionally, any surface produced via surface flatten can be investigated for stretch or compression by right-clicking the surface and creating a deformation plot. Red areas indicate sections that will stretch when deforming the flat onto the 3D geometry, while blue areas indicate compression. If you have any other advice for using the Surface Flatten command, let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and visit us at hawkridgesys.com for more SOLIDWORKS tech tips every week. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.